2002 Volkswagen Beetle with a 1.9 liter TDI ALH engine. On this car we've used it a couple, for a couple other videos, but we are going to do a how to change the fuel filter. It's not a hard process, but you do have to prime it afterwards, and that's the reason I'm making this video. Okay, it probably isn't necessary to take out this pipe, but I'm going to take it out just to make it easier to show you in the video. These are band clamp pliers. They work really good for these spring-loaded clamps. Okay, these hoses here from the factory will usually be spring-type clamps. But when they are clamps like this, don't waste your time trying to get these out with a standard screwdriver. Get you a quarter inch nut driver. That's a little tip to make it faster. Because quarter inch nut driver is held in place and you have lots of control. And don't remove these hoses right here from this thermostatic T. Remove the Mickey Mouse clip and that way you'll never hook these up wrong. In my own TDI, my wife was traveling and she put gasoline in the, in the car. The car, of course, died a couple blocks later. She took it to a shop and had them clean out the gasoline and put diesel in it. And they installed this backwards, meaning these two hoses they put here and here, and these two hoses they put here and here. Well, that was fine up until the point where this thermostatic T started working when it was cold and then we started having problems. Uh, it didn't take me long to figure it out, but be gentle with this as you pull it up and out of there because it is just plastic. Move that off to the side. Here's my favorite tip for removing hoses. Get your pair of needle nose like this, grab the needle nose, let, and then let the long end of it as a pry bar pull those off. Works really, really nice. Then a Phillips screwdriver to take this out. Okay, before you put the new fuel filter on, always make sure this is tight, a little loose there. And sometimes um, we have had it happen once where this was left loose and we got it all the way installed, it leaked, and we had to pull it back out. The fuel filters will almost always come with two new O-rings for the bottom of the thermostatic T. The better quality ones will come with two different colored ones. Just match the color to what comes off there. This is not a better quality one. The customer provided this fuel filter kit for us, which will replace both these O-rings. little lubricant to ensure the o-rings go in there nicely. That's actually ATF that I'm using there. Nice and gentle with the plastic part. Don't want to break it. And back in with the Mickey Mouse clip. And then I like to set the height of this after I've installed the hoses. So I put it where I want it, and then I tighten the Phillips screw. The 
This one I'm going to go ahead and tighten up. And I probably shouldn't have put that hose on already, but I'll just use my needle nose trick to pull those off again. And now to prime it. Now, if you just started this car without priming it, this air that's inside this fuel filter would end up in the injection pump, eventually die, and then you'd have to prime the injection pump and bleed the injectors to get it to start. So there's lots of different ways you can prime this. One method for a do-it-yourselfer might be to leave this out and simply pour diesel fuel in there. But the method that I use is I hook vacuum to here and it draws fuel from the tank through the supply line and once fuel starts coming out this hose then you know the fuel filter is full. And this is the equipment I use to prime a fuel filter or prime an injection pump for that matter. And this is just a Harbor Freight oil extractor. It uses shop air to make vacuum. So I just simply put a rubber adapter that I have on the, the end of the hose. And hook to the fuel filter and let it suck. And when a steady supply of fuel starts coming out of my hose, which isn't very clear anymore, it used to be clear. And a steady supply of fuel is now coming out of it. You simply pull this off. And it should start right up and run continuously. Nothing else needed to be done. Now, if you don't have an oil extractor, you can use one of these. You simply put the reservoir on it. Stick the hose on there. And start pumping until your hand is sore. It takes a lot of pumping. I, uh never did this ever <laughs> I also have an AC vacuum pump that's what I used for quite a while before I had this oil extractor and that works really really nice and I also have seen people use a shop vac. You simply have a large diameter hose from the vacuum down to this size and then suck on it till it uh, draws fuel out. And that is how to change and that is how to change a fuel filter on a 1.9 liter TDI with an ALH. This is a Beetle. A Jetta and a Golf is exactly the same. A little bit easier. This stuff ain't in the way here. This, if you learned anything from this video, click like and subscribe. If you want to financially contribute to the continued production of these videos, visit my website at www.kansascitytdi.com and find the donate icon.